Good morning, Wildcats. It's Wednesday, January 24th, and you're watching Keeping Up With The Cats. Hey Wildcats, as you guys probably know, one of our fellow Wildcats, Ava Ewart, was diagnosed with leukemia over the summer. The marketing team has decided to put together a fundraiser by selling their spring pep rally t-shirts and all the proceeds will go to Ava and her family. I recently sat down with Kaylee Kidder, one of the marketing management students, and seeing what goes into the fundraiser and what made them want to do it. I also sat down with Miss Ewart herself to kind of get more information about Ava, how she's doing, and how their family's doing. Hi, I'm Kaylee, and I'd like to announce that our marketing team is coming out with the Spring Pep Rally on February 16th. The theme of the Pep Rally is disco, and we're also coming out with disco-themed shirts. The great thing about these shirts is that all the proceeds will be going to Ava Ewert and her family for her medical expenses. I'm Miss Ewert, and um, I'm a science teacher here at McKeel, and I love being a part of this McKeel family. Uh, my daughter, Ava Ewert, is a senior here, um, and she was diagnosed August 1st with leukemia, which is a type of blood cancer. Uh, and we're so grateful that she was diagnosed with a cancer that's treatable. So it does take a lot of treatment. She has chemotherapy about three times a week, and all of her chemo is done in St. Pete with amazing doctors there. But um, anyway, so my family kind of goes through this living here in Lakeland and living over in St. Pete process uh, and Ava is responding well to the treatment though it, it does suck I'm gonna be real uh, but she's doing good and so um, I know that they're doing this t-shirt fundraiser and we are so blown away with the kindness and generosity of everyone at the school it's like genuinely touches my heart <laughs> like you wouldn't believe so anyway I'm gonna tell Ava when I go home she's gonna be ecstatic uh, so anyway these things when you guys do this stuff it it helps my family so much in such a real way because we spend tons of money in gas driving back and forth to St. Pete. We spend tons of money taking care of living in St. Pete for weeks at a time sometimes. So we're just thankful and uh, we appreciate everything you guys do for us. So thank you so much from me, from Ava, from my whole family. Hey Wildcats, tickets for McKeel's Got Talent will go on sale starting Monday. Tickets will be offered before school or during lunch. Tickets will not be offered on McKeel Online Office. The show dates are February 1st for 7th and 8th grade and February 2nd for all high school grades. Get your tickets Monday. What's Travis Scott's first name? Man, I don't know, like Travis or something? No, it's actually Jacques. It's where is the coldest place in the world? Antarctica. Correct. What's your New Year's resolution? To get Unreal ranked in Fortnite. Me too. How many seasons of Fortnite are there? 20. Wrong. It's 27. What's the highest rank in Fortnite? 100. <laughs> nah, it's, it's Unreal. <laughs> hey guys, what y'all talking about this week on Ask the Cats? Let's, Let's go, go check, check it out. Open up the champagne. Pop. It's my house. Come on. What's up, Law Cats, and welcome back to Ask the Cats. This week we asked the teachers what their favorite part about teaching was. Let's, Let's go, go check, check it out. out. Hi, I'm Mr. Francis, and my favorite part about teaching, besides the millions of dollars we make a year, is obviously my children. I have a great time teaching you guys. Uh, I look forward to seeing you every day. I'm not looking forward to retirement at all. I'm Miss Batson. I teach U.S. history and my favorite part of being a teacher is getting to talk about my favorite subject and having the students listen to me. Hi, I'm Miss Zimmerman. My favorite part about teaching is the excitement the students get when they um, get to do something fun in the classroom. Hi, I'm Miss Naylor, and my favorite part of uh, teaching is getting to know all the students, uh, making relationships with them, having them come back year after year to tell me what's going on in their life. It's really great. Hi, I'm Mrs. Ranger, and my favorite part about teaching is that each day is new and different. Mr. Dunn, you got any stories for me? Any stories? Yeah, there was this one time 
All right, guys, let's get to work, all right? You get back to work. What's up, Ms. Batson? What's up, Chris? You got any new stories for me? Oh my gosh, there was last week, this one time, Devin went crazy in class. Went crazy. He has lost his mind. All right, y'all, I gotta step out. Behave or else. Oh. Hey, what y'all doing out here? What y'all doing? gotta do no work today. What you doing? gotta do no work today. Hey, what y'all doing in here? What are you doing, Devin? Nothing. Why, why is she on the floor? Because she's dumb. I need backup, I need backup. 10-4, roger that. I give, I give up. See those hands. <laughs> he tried to run away from me. Look at him. He didn't know I had backup. Hey, I admit you're getting pretty good at it. Get him. Welcome back to Rate My Ride. We're here with Bryson's 2021 Alfa Romeo Giulia. It's powered by a 295 horsepower, four cylinder single turbo engine. The Alfa Romeo has a zero to 60 in just 5.5 seconds with a top speed of 150 miles an hour. Hey Jaden, what's your favorite study tip? My study tip is to listen to calm music. Hey Aaron, what's the best piece of advice someone has given you? To always work hard no matter what. Hey Lila, would you rather go to a soccer game or a baseball game? I'd rather go to a soccer game so I can watch Bella play. Hey Striker, if you could be any emoji, what emoji would you be? I'd be the shrugging emoji. Hey Isaac, what keeps you motivated throughout the day? I know I'm going to the gym later, so I'm just excited for it. Hey Hayden, what do you look forward to most each day? To go to sleep. Hey Wildcats, this week on Senior Spotlight, I'm here with Jean Benavidez. Jean, what has been your favorite part of high school? Uh, my favorite part of high school was wrestling last year and going to the state tournament and placing. And how long have you been wrestling? I started my third grade year but quit and came back my eighth grade year. And who are your biggest supporters? Um, my biggest supporters would have to be definitely my teammates, my brother, and my father. And what advice do you have for underclassmen? Uh, just don't be dumb, don't do anything you'd regret, and just do your work. And what are your plans for the future? Uh, after high school, I just plan on going to college and getting my degree in health science and see where the universe takes me from there. Good luck and thank you. Thank you. Hey Wildcats, did you know on this day in 1848, the California Gold Rush started when a man named James Marshall found gold at Stern Mill? This historical day marks the largest migration in the United States when it brought a flood of workers to California trying to make their fortune. This resulted in a massive economic boom, bringing in $170 million to California's economy. The girls basketball team beat Discovery last Thursday 53-12 and beat Ridgeview 54-17. They play their senior night tomorrow night against LCS at 7. The boys basketball team lost against Sebring and Excel. They play tomorrow night against Bell Creek Academy. Good luck! The boys soccer team beat Discovery 6-0 on their senior night and beat Auburnale 4-0 on Thursday. They play in their first playoff game on Monday. The girls soccer team beat Lake Region 9-0 last Thursday on their senior night, but lost to Lincoln on Friday. They play in their first playoff game on Friday. Good luck. Good morning, Wildcats. It's Thursday, January. The... Is it rolling? Yeah. Is it, it's rolling. Oh, no, no, it's not rolling. Oh, it's not rolling. No. The volume's all the way down. <laughs> thank you, thank, thanks for... <laughs> Spell it. Oh. <laughs> That's all for today. See you next time on Keeping Up With The Cats. Release your inhibitions, feel the rain on your